Hello and welcome to Scratty Peach. This today's video is going to be Peach's Place, The Last of Us Remastered, Episode 14. Welcome back to my Last of Us Remastered playthrough. This is the 14th episode and the end of last episode we essentially just got, uh, we split up from Tommy and we got Ellie with us now which is pretty cool. So basically we were supposed, or, or Joel was going to be giving Annie to um, Tommy to basically take her to where he need, where she needed to be but essentially Joel decided to take Ellie with him which is pretty cool so yeah I'm just and we're heading I'm pretty sure we're heading towards university even at the end of last episode that's got never come up sweet um I got um oh yeah I said uh, college instead of university I meant university but yeah I guess it is what it is but yeah so we're heading towards the university which is essentially where we're going to be taking Ellie which is maybe like some glass essentially it's some like lab I think but like it just looks like basically Tommy said you can't really miss it so yeah we're just heading towards it now so yeah, it's pretty cool, you know, to switch it up again. Now we're back on the horse. This last episode we were on the horse a little bit as well, which is cool. So I'm just going to, as always, just go around and have a little bit of, you know, and explore and just see if there's anything around. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm I'm quite close to completing The Last of Us, which is good. Which is good and bad because I'm really enjoying it. But I know it's like, I know it's only 16 to 20 hours. It may be a little bit longer for me because I do explore a lot. But I think it is 16 to 20 hours anyway, to be fair. But yeah. But a DLC. I've got the DLC nice and more pill points sweet. I don't actually know how many pill points I actually yeah, have, let's have a look in a sec. So I've got me. 10, cool. So I have 170, so I'm just going to whack it on. What do I want? Hmm. Shift master, yep, you use shift to save yourself from a clicker, cool. Um, what else? Healing speed, listen mode, yeah, listen mode distance will be good. Uh, hmm. Weapon sway as well. It makes it easier just to, it makes it easier for me just to shoot enemies crafting speed and that's cool so yep i thought i might as well use them so i was going to try to get a uh, weapon not um weapon sway as well but it's 100 i'm pretty sure so i can't do that yet let's have a look at what guns i have what ammo so i've got no shotgun ammo no hunting rifle ammo but as i was saying about the dlc i've, all, I've got the dlc because it came in a bundle when i bought this so i'll probably so yeah i'll basically just be playing it or i'll be playing it on my main channel so after i complete this last of us remaster of the main game i'll be moving this style of content onto my onto my main channel like i said multiple times but essentially that's what my plan is anyway but let's just uh, continue so it's pretty cool you can get out of your horse like in the other section i wasn't yeah. sure with tommy when we were trying to catch up with ellie last episode i wasn't sure if we could get on or you know on or off the horse as much as we wanted i don't think we could but if we could i may have missed a few like collectibles and stuff but as i've said multiple times i'm not really too bothered about the collectibles first playthrough i just like to usually play a game through once and then i'll go back and do like a second playthrough and try to get the collectibles Okay. I don't think there's anything else I can pick up, but like I don't. I don't actually know how many oh, I parts I have. Like um, you know, most parts for upgrades and guns. I'm not actually too sure, to be fair. Yeah, let's just head towards. Well, let's head into the university now. We haven't bumped into anything yet. It seems to be quite quiet. I'm pretty sure we're meant to be meeting up with some fireflies, but you know, flat oh, all. I guess say, is that a upgrade bench? I think that is actually. Yeah, it's cool. You know, I think the plan is we're supposed to be meeting up with fireflies, but every time we, you know, we're meant to meet up with fireflies, they are all dead, which is unfortunate. Oh, nice, a new weapon. A flamethrower? Yes, that's definitely a flamethrower. Cool, so that should be the last weapon, the one we were missing. I thought it was going to be like some assault rifle, but yeah, cool. Flamethrower, that's sweet. That should help against, um, like maybe bloaters, it'll do fire. Yeah, fire does a lot of damage against bloaters, actually, so yeah. Oh yeah, I might as well put, bring my bow out actually, because I have um nine nine arrows, which is good. Just going to quickly have a look. Uh, I don't know. I'll keep my hunting rifle out just in case I find some arms. I don't really use the bow too much now. Nice, nice five parts. Sweet. I don't think there's anything else around, is there? Yeah. I'm quite running. I'm running quite low on all ammo on most of my guns. Nice five pill points. Which is, I guess, a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now there's a lot of there's been a lot of action in the last few episodes. I'm a shit, should I pick that up? Yes, I might as well. It's the same amount of durability as the hatchet. Just gonna have a look. I don't think there's anything else around here, but I'll just have a look. Just quickly stealthing or crouching using li Giles listen mode just to see nothing around. I don't think there is because I would hear him probably, but I'm just definitely making sure I'm not gonna bump into any, you know, any zombies or hunters or any of that lot, scavengers or whatever. But yeah, so I, I personally reckon I'm going to predict that when we go towards that where we're going to meet the fireflies, there probably isn't going to be anybody there, I reckon. It's like the other times, but I guess, I don't know, we'll just have to see. You know, it may, um, it may actually be, we may actually be lucky and it may be there, but I, I highly doubt that, to be fair. But yeah, hopefully we can get, hopefully we can get some more ammo soon, especially for shotgun and hunting rifle, because I use them a hell of a lot. What's that there? 
more parts sweet. Let's have a look at how many parts I have to I can use to upgrade basically. Uh, what can I do? So I got 34. Mm, I don't really have much. I can upgrade. I can upgrade the flamethrower, reload speed. Yeah, I might well just do that. Why not? Bam! And I need a upgrade tool level four and five for most of the good upgrades. Some of the weapons I want to upgrade, like the hunting rifle, shotgun, and all that. But this is where I just came from. Yeah, it was cool. So let's head back to the horse, which is I think it's Callus, Cal Calus or something. It's Callus, maybe. Okay. Please get on the horse. I think it's either Cal Callus or Calus. I think it's Callus actually. But yeah. Gonna head towards the or head to the into the university now. Let's go. Ooh, maybe not. Yeah, I am. I just failed to jump. But yeah, I'm. I'm super excited to try to pick up the Last of Us Part Two. I'll wait. It's just maybe for Black Friday or possibly just to the end of the year, like Christmas sales maybe. Like, I reckon it'll be. It'll go quite cheap. And I reckon 20, 20 pounds for me. Maybe 20, 25. I'll be willing to pick it up for. Oh, what's in here? More supplies probably. Well, hopefully some more ammo, but I know we haven't been too lucky yet with picking up ammo. Many people you think are there? The yeah, there's fireflies. There's not really many fireflies left, or from what we can see from playing throughout the game, fireflies are getting killed. Especially at the start of the game, they're getting killed by the um, like government or people who are like running the like, quarantine zones and stuff. They just get rid of them basically. So that's where we gotta go. Cool. But yeah, essentially there ain't gonna be many fireflies left. And if there is, it's gonna be like a maybe maybe like a few of them like very far away from where we are. So everywhere we seem to go, the fireflies don't seem to be there more. Like they've set, you know, they've just taken all their stuff and just they've just went away, you know. Basically, just went off somewhere else. But I guess if it's not safe, but they are. And obviously, when we went to the Capitol building like ages ago, um, essentially, um, they the fireflies were already dead. But yeah, Marlene, I'm pretty sure I said like the FF she's dead, but I don't think she is dead actually. I just think she was very injured when we left her and we took Ellie, so we tried to sneak her for the. We had to like um, basically sneak her out of the city. So as far as I know, Marlene isn't dead, but I thought she was. But I don't know. Do you know what we'll have to see? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure when we left her, she was in bad shape. So that's maybe what I said she was dead. To be fair, but I don't really, I don't really know much about the Last of Us DLC. To be fair, I know obviously there's DLC, but I haven't really seen anybody play it. Or I haven't really seen anything about it. So I think it's gonna be like maybe a few more hours, and if so, I'll just um up up my probably my first series new series but like a playstation series onto my um onto my main channel probably. that's probably gonna be the plan anyway let's just say that Ooh. the horse detects yeah the horse detects runners which are like the weird ones kind of look like clickers a bit but the ones are just extremely quick and very aggressive which is what we bumped into them ages ago i think when we got split up in the hotel with um Ellie when we had to go through basically when we were going up the elevator and we essentially fell down nice more more parts sweet but yeah, essentially these are the people who are just extremely aggressive. What's the note say? Wall panel note. We had to rig up the door to generate upstairs. Please use it sparingly. We're running out of gas. Okay, cool. So we'll have to go upstairs where all the runners are. Sweet. But yeah, I'm, I really do enjoy it. I see why people they would and I see pe why people won't like it. Or don't like this game to be fair. It is like, it, it's not made for everybody. But I just like, I've always wanted to play Last of Us. So I had a PlayStation 3 ages ago. But then I um got a 360 back and I heard about last of us but i never played it so there's one two three it seems to be like six maybe seven but um six seven runners but i'm pretty sure i should be able to throw a few bombs down and maybe monitor okay that guy that lady won't see me okay cool throw a few bombs down here and then maybe on that staircase back there we should be fine yeah as i was saying with um the ps3 i've always wanted to play last of us but i just picked up a ps4 and yeah i just one my it's one of my main games to pick up so i like to play a lot of the exclusive games that's the thing with PlayStation, you've got a lot of good exclusives like Last of Us, um, God of War, Death Stranding I've picked up, I know it's a bit controversial, some people like it, some people don't. I haven't really played it, so I'll, you know, I'm never one to judge a game unless I give it a go. And also you have um, Uncharted, which I've played. I played all 1, 2, 3 on um, PS3. I have the um, Nathan Drake collection, I had it on disc, but you also got it free for um, like um, basically, I think they gave it free for a while when everybody was basically stuck at home. Which was pretty cool, it's nice that they get them and gave um, Last of Us, not Last of Us, sorry. <laughs> I chat nice Molotov, one of them just run away. Hopefully should run straight into my bomb. And get my hide, get my um, shorty out. Nice, that killed one, sweet. Easy, I'm going to run down the staircase, be smart here, don't want to get hit. The shorty, I've upgraded it a bit, so it should be good. Headshot, come down. Easy headshot. And see you later. 
that was easy and I wasted a lot of my short nights. 50 flamethrower fuel. That's sweet. That's got 90 now. Perfect. But, um, yeah. It was cool. Yeah, they gave a game away for free when everyone just locked, you know, locked down and you were like stuck in their house, which was cool. I'm gonna make a, myself a Molotov, uh, two Molotovs, I might as well, just in case there's more of them. And the Molotovs are good, especially if you bump into bloaters like lobbed on the difficulty I'm playing. I think it's normal. If you lob two Molotovs at a bloater, I'm pretty sure it almost kills it, and maybe like a few pistol shots, just a few shots in general. The flamethrower could be quite good to use against um, bloaters as well, to be fair. But just have a little bit. Have a look around and just see if there's any supplies. It doesn't seem to be anything, but I think I dealt with that quite well. It was like I just thought I might as well use my Molotov, get one, throw the bombs down. So I don't really use the bombs, I just have like three bombs a lot of the time and I never even I never usually use them, so I thought if I use them, set up like a little trap and it worked you know, worked wonders. I managed to kill one of the um on the what they called runners, I don't know, I forgot the name, but yeah, whatever those um I think they're called runners. But yeah, essentially I want I managed to kill one of them. They pushed to the left. I had a bomb down there and on the staircase I killed one and then the hydro easy headshots killed one with the Molotov. So it went well. Even I I used a lot of supplies, I just thought it was probably the best way for me to do it. Did it oh nice shot three shotgun shots, that's perfect. I have to switch me hunting rifle out to reload my shotgun now. So I've got three shots. I have to be very, very careful. I could see how this game could be very hard on like the higher difficulty, especially like the max difficulty, because even on normal at this stage of the game, I'm struggling to find a lot of ammo. And I know at times you're going to go stealth, and sometimes I try to go stealth, it just doesn't go well. Let's boot up this generator now, let's fire it up. But yeah, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of things, you know, I, I enjoy about this game. The story's pretty good as well, like, well, the gameplay is quite, you know, pretty decent as well, or not decent, I'm loving the story and the gameplay. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of my style of game. Survival, zombies, and all that good stuff, so... I don't think I'd um I picked it up pretty cheap as well, so I I'm always down to pick a bit cheap. But I reckon if I back in the day I probably when it came out I probably would have picked up a full price, but I shouldn't have a platform or I didn't have my PS3. I think I have gave my PS3 to my brother to use. And then I never even played it and I thought I might as well get a PS4. It's been one of my first games. I think this and Bloodborne were like the first ones I got then Bloodborne went free with PlayStation Plus, but then with PlayStation Plus, same with Xbox Live Gold now. So if you don't have Say the subscriptions, you won't be able to play the games you get from, say, for free for PS Plus or for Xbox Live Gold, which I guess is kind of fair enough. <laughs> but so I'm kind of happy I bought Bloodborne when I did. I bought the game Euro Edition as well, which is sweet. But yeah, we're just gonna go on a merry way and you know, head our way up to the center of the university and just have a look around for supplies. You know, you know the deal by now. But yeah, so Last of Us Part Two, I haven't really seen much about. I've just heard that some people like it, some people don't like it. But I guess you know that's a lot of games. To be fair, there are a lot of games I want to pick up this year, especially uh, for Xbox Two. Oh, I've, I've mentioned before I'm going to be getting a Series X. I was going to get a PS5, but it's just for me logically it's better for me to get an Xbox solely because all my friends play it, my family play it, and also me and my brother's home console, which is essentially for people who don't know what home console is. Essentially, you, I'll put like you put your, I'll put my account on my brother's account, so you, I'll home my Xbox account to his account, his um, Xbox, and he'll do the same to mine. And then essentially, we share each other's games. So that's how it works on the Xbox One. So let's hopefully, no, hopefully it doesn't seriously. So you do that, you do yeah, something we'll similar to the PS on the PlayStation as well, but it's a bit different. So essentially, we will split half on games and stuff, which is cool. But the plan, I think, pretty sure my brother's plan to pick up Valhalla. I'm tempted to pick up Legion. But I may be Cold War now because I saw the zombie trail for Call of Duty Cold War or Black Ops Cold War. Call, Call of Duty Cold War, Black Ops, whatever it is, basically Call of Duty Cold War. The zombies looks quite good. Multiplayer, I'm not really much of a multiplayer. Um, I don't play multiplayer as much anymore on COD. Like Modern Warfare, I played it. The newest one, the rebooted Modern Warfare, I played it for maybe four or five hours, but I just didn't enjoy it. The Spec Ops was just a massive letdown. I was really uh, looking forward to it, because so Spec Ops was probably one of my favourite modes in the MW2. To be fair, the whole MW2 pack was amazing. The campaign was pretty pretty good, the multiplayer was amazing, and the Spec Ops was probably my favourite game mode on MW2. Which I know may be a shock to some people, but it was just so much fun, to be fair. Can't go for these gates, can I? No. But essentially, 
Well, tempted to pick it up, but it comes out I think November thirteenth, and the Xbox One comes out. No, Xbox, sorry, Xbox Series X and S comes out November tenth. So yeah, I may be able to pick it up. I'm just not sure because I'm pretty sure I have to get a cross-gen bundle anyway, which will be like sixty-four pounds, which is uh, it's quite pricey to be fair. I think it's fifty-nine for the st standard, so I guess it's alright. I don't know to be fair. The zombies looks quite cool, and if I do decide to pick it up, I'll probably start up uploading some zombie content on my main channel. But yeah, essentially, we're still heading towards you know, the center of the university, it seems. Right, Dormitory, it what's it say here? Disconnect generator. Okay, I can't exactly see what it says. So it says disconnect generator. Basically, yeah, cool. Let's head in here. And let's have some fun. <laughs> Bump into some more zombies and all that good stuff. Some more parts, sweet. So seven parts. What's that, pill point? That's pill points on the table, isn't it? Okay, am I just gonna be... Okay. Do I have to try it? or oh, no, it's stuck. Just press it just in case. I have to activate, like, a um, trigger to maybe carry on. I'm not sure. Let's go. So I've got three shotgun shots. 90... Nice. 90 fuel for the... Um, nice as a map. UEC campus map. The map of the UEC campus. That is... But yeah, as I was saying, I've got 90 flame or oh, um, flamethrower fuel, which is good. So I'll probably try to keep them for if we or keep fuel just in case we bump into some bloaters or anything like that. Because I know fire is very effective against bloaters. I should say that anyway. So we're heading up the stairs now. We can't go up there. Cool. It doesn't. I don't hear or see anything, but I guess just be a little bit you know, safe. I should hope to be a lot of supplies. Oh, what's that? Oh, just selling that some cloths. Nice, cool. I'm starting to stack up some more of my supplies, which is good. What's in here? Scissors, pill points. So I think I've got maybe 15, 20 pill points now. Anything in here? Oh, there's a note. What does it say? Student journal. Do the, no, no word from anyone. Found additional cans of food in the call. Do, do, do. Cool. It's actually just saying that he's stuck in here. Group to run it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, just saying he's stuck in here. Wow, that sucks. I've been stuck somewhere for nine months, especially, but I guess obviously people will just leave them, like students and stuff. That's what's the sad thing about this zombie apocalypse, especially in this game, is once people find out, you know, found out about the uh, the um, infection, they just basically leave wherever they're going, or like basically essentially abandon the ship, which is the college, and then people, people who are in there just get stuck, spores. So like most likely it means there's going to be more zombies around. Nice, some sugar. But yeah, so, um,. We'll have to head down that hole, but before I go in there, I'm just going to quickly have a look. Which I don't think I missed anything, and I'm pretty sure in the gameplay I'm going to head back up back to the stairs, but even though I look for the stairs and I can't go up, I'm just having a look. Yep, there we go, I can't go up there, but yeah, as you know, I commentate over, basically after I record it, solely because if I am recording the, um, I'm recording the gameplay and I'm commentating at the same time, I could mess up, and in the editing software I use, I can't split the tracks. Which is quite awkward, but oh, here we go. This is going to be fun. Yep, so as you can tell, I've just literally died a second ago. But yeah, I died to a bloater because I did not know that they could grab you. Because when we first fought that bloater in the, um, when we were escaping school with Bill, I was saying, oh, I don't know how they'd kill you, but it grabs you, just squish you, squash you to death. It's quite a cool way of dying, you know, but essentially I got killed by a bloater, so that's cool. So there's a few clickers around, like, I think there's 3-4 clickers and there's also a bloater, so if I'm stealth, if I'm stealthy, I can basically um, grab this guy here, he'll go into the room by himself, isolate himself easy, grab him, shiv him, so I've got um, 3 uses in my shiv now, for each shiv, which is cool, so I've got, a tiny, I've got 8 uses now left, so yeah, there's um, 4 clickers and 1 bloater, which, bloaters aren't really the worst, to be fair, they're quite slow, as long as you're just smart and I'll probably just, my plan will be throw, Molotovs at the bloater and then basically maybe use my flamethrower if I have to but I'm not 100% sure if I will or won't but what's this uh, tape and oh flamethrower fuel sweet oh okay I'll just since they're blind I'll just stay here you shouldn't see me perfect oh see me now shouldn't hear me That's three out of the four clickers down nice more fuel I should be balling with that fuel now Make a shift, nice, perfect. I'm pretty sure there's scissors back here I can go and pick up. Uh, yeah, there it is, sweet. Might as well make use of the supplies, to be fair. It's the amount of times I don't like make something when I can. Nice, I should have maybe full, full scissors now again to make some more shifts. I haven't bumped into many shifts, you know, dodging over the shift yet, so I don't actually know 
There are probably going to be a few in this university, I reckon. So grab this guy. Dead. Easy. So now I got three Molotovs, maybe lob two. One. If it, the bloke will know exactly where I am, I was just going to like stay there and be like, where the hell am I? I don't know. Let's see what, to see what the bloke decides to do. It doesn't seem to have a clue. So let's throw another Molotov at it. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's thrown at me or just... That's cool. Perfect. They die actually just from burning like that. Just have to have a look. Nope, it's not dead. Just be smart here. Oh, yeah, it is. No, no, it didn't die. No, it hasn't died yet. Cool. I don't want to pick up that wooden plank. There we go. Set them on fire. Uh, let's just run away just in case. It looks like it's yes, dead. Nice. Is it going to drop anything? Or, no. Nah. I don't know. Did it drop anything? I don't think it did. Maybe a firefly pendant? A oh, firefly pendant, there you go. Cool. I know that's a collectible, so I guess you could probably just miss that collectible if you didn't kill the bloater, I guess, but... If I do go for like, all the collectibles and stuff, I'll probably just... I don't know. I could play it on the lower difficulty, but I don't know. Mm. Just solely, if there's all like, very heavy, action-orientated sections and I'm playing on like highest difficulty, I could just do maybe a higher difficulty ramps. New Game Plus? Mm. I know you can do New Game Plus, I'm not really sure. I'm just trying to think what I'm going to do after this play. Once I complete these series and when I want New Game Plus, do I want to do it on easy difficulty for collectibles or raise difficulty up to maybe like harder than... I don't know, I'll just have to see. You know. I won't be recording that, but I'll just be chilling and playing it hopefully. But, or hopefully, but if I do decide to do a, another play for it, be a New Game Plus and try to get some of the achievements. Like, okay, what the hell was that camera log? <laughs> I can reload it. Yeah, I can. Man, I was lucky. I didn't think... Uh, yeah, okay, I had to reload the flames. Cool. So if I, I probably would have ran out. Nice. So if I didn't throw those two Molotovs, I probably would have died. Again. <laughs> so we're back out again. Doesn't seem to be any zombies anywhere. Just check all these all these rooms. Any ammo, please? No, I don't know why they'd have ammo in a, in a, in a university, but... Hey-ho. Uh, newspaper clipping. Let's uh, make... 60% of the world's population is either dead or infected. That is not good, let's just say that. All nice 10 pill points, perfect, I'll take those. But that is not ideal. So, Gel seems to be right, obviously Ellie's alright. Ellie can die, but she just doesn't get infected. Or she doesn't turn into a zombie, so technically she can't die that way. She can just die, obviously, getting killed. Which I guess is, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's cool, but I don't know. Because a lot of people, you know, you know, family members and all that, friends, will just turn into zombies and stuff and you know you can't which i guess that's the whole point of basically joel trying to take her to the fireflies to, to make like a vaccine for you know humanity and basically try to save everybody which i don't know it's just i don't reckon it'll end that way to be fair i reckon it'll be more of they just won't they just won't like the people she goes and meets the fireflies i don't the fireflies seem to be good but i just have a sneaky suspicion that the day ain't going to be good and that's the thing but i don't know we'll just have to see what happens you know I don't actually know what exactly what happens at the end of the Last of Us Part 1. I, I've seen a few people play parts of it. I've never actually seen somebody play the whole game. And I'm not one for spoilers anyway. That if I do see something, like a part of it. Unless I... That's just like the massive like plot spoiler. I don't really care, to be honest. I'm not really too bothered most of the time. But oh, I need to drag the generator over there. Hook it up and then the gate should open, hopefully. And we met Ellie and Callus through. Or Callus, I think it's Callus, actually. I'm pretty sure it's Callus, but either way. Let's go. Let's whack the cable in. And the generator should hopefully fire up. Or if not, we'll have to go and pick up some more fuel. But we should hopefully just be able to do it. Uh, yeah, it seems to be alright. Cool. So I was just thinking we'd probably have to go and get some, like, you know, more fuel for it. But that's cool. Well, it's a generator, so I don't ex exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's try Come on, let's go, Ellie. But yeah, so we're still heading towards the mirrored, basically massive mirrored room, I'm pretty sure. Like, it looks like one massive glass, like, like, like glass on one massive mirror, I think Tommy was saying. That's where the lab is. And hopefully we can bump into, hopefully we meet some fireflies. I don't know, to be fair, like, there's always a chance that those, mm, as anyone was saying, those clickers could potentially have been the fireflies. To be fair, the amount of times we bump into zombies that are like fireflies, basically. Or they were previously fireflies. And there's, uh, there's, there's only anything to the left. Let's have a little look, sometimes they hide. Pill point or ammo here. Now nah, we just haven't been finding it, that any ammo at all. The one of the good things about human enemies, like hunters and all that, 
it's a fact that usually they drop a lot of ammo. So, but since you're fighting zombies and stuff, I guess technically I'm dropping flame for ammo, but yeah, I guess it is all it is. You know, we deal with what we've got to deal with. We've got a bit of 9mm, we got bow and arrow, you know, we've got bows, we've got 9 of them, we've got 3 shotgun shots. We ain't running the you know worst with the ammo wise, but it's just a bit unfortunate that we don't have much ammo. So I could probably, I should probably go and have a look in these tents actually. Yeah, that probably should be the play. Let's have a look, see if there's anything in there. Let's get out. Oh, sorry, get out and I'll get off. Uh, pi uh, parts, weapon parts, sweet. Coolio. No, not as a student, at least. Why not? And I always want to the left. I don't know if I like completely just avoid that one. I think I, I do. I was pretty young. But yeah, just continue heading towards these tents. Were you married? Just quickly have a look to see if I can you know, engage in conversation with Ellie because there's sometimes a triangle prompt that comes up and I've missed a few in this game. Oh, for, nice hunting with two hunting rifle shots. Sweet. It's a little bit of ammo. I'll keep the flamethrower out just in case we bump into more like bloaters and all that stuff. Because I don't want to have to quickly switch. It's just not really an easy way to switch in a fight. But I guess if I have a few Molotovs, I technically wouldn't even need a flamethrower to be out. But uh, yeah, I'm just quickly yeah I'm switching it up. So I'm having my shotgun or hunting rifle first, and then putting my flamethrower where the bow and arrow is now. So I thought I might as well. Just makes it easier for me to switch from a pistol to a shotgun. So that's cool. All parts. I should hopefully have quite a lot now. I probably should have. Ideally, I should have probably saved the parts I had when I upgraded the reload speed, which was, I think, was it 25? Yeah, I think it was 25, so I could have had 25 more, but, uh, uh -huh, you know, I guess it is what it is. I used it, I, it doesn't really matter. I'll find more parts. I, now it's never Firefly Pendant. Are we going to find any 11? There's, okay. there's always a chance, but I don't know. We haven't bumped into any yet. Obviously, Marlene's a Firefly, which I don't know. If we'll see her at all, but she's, she, I'm pretty sure she was the fire, fire fly leader, or she was one of the firefly leaders, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, so she literally just stood still, because I think I'm pretty sure I was sorting something out at the moment, yeah. I was just making sure, as always, uh, that it was recording on the Elgato, because sometimes I've had it before with other games where I've been recording and, or I think I've been recording, but I haven't, and then it just threw me off guard. Like games that last for, like games that last for us, I have multiple saves, so just in case Ooh. I forget to upload, oh sorry, record, or I just basically, for some reason, it just like corrupts. I haven't ever oh, saved there. to essentially. Yeah, that looks like but, that, yeah. Be safe. So that's our way to get into the university school. I just like to always have a safety save. Because I did it with ages ago on my on very old channel with my brother had basically. I was uploading GTA, like GTA non commentary and essentially I think it was what was it? GTA three Vice City. I think it was it was Vice City. So I remember the the basically um remote control helicopter which is probably one of the hardest missions I've ever done on a GTA game. I remember when I played it as a kid, I could not do it, but I could barely do it then, so I had to do it twice. So I essentially got to a certain part through, I think I got like halfway through the campaign on that game, and then the save corrupted, I think, or I didn't record it, and then I essentially just had to do that like half the game again, which wasn't that bad, because I was just, it took me a few hours, but if it was like a game like this where, say, I get 10 to 12 hours through the campaign, and then I forget to record or it doesn't record properly, then... I'll be a bit, you know, not this out. Let's just say I won't be too happy. Okay, Ali's just left the well, horse there. Cool. Mine, <laughs> I'll just go and grab the horse. Yeah, I might as well grab it. I don't know. We can't take it up to the building, but I'll just take it down there. I don't think it really matters where the horse will be, but let's go. Essentially, yeah, we're just still heading towards the university. Oh, that's the plan. So, we, if we're lucky, we'll find some fireflies in there and we can give Ali that, which will be quite awkward because... Or take our blood, draw our blood, and hopefully make a vaccine. Or if we're unlucky, there won't be any fireflies there. Which I reckon it'll probably be the second option. There probably ain't going to be any fireflies there. I just, I just reckon there won't be. To be fair, every time we try to find fireflies, except from like Marlene, then we basically we obviously went through a hunt down. Was it Robert at the start of the game, and then we met Marlene, which was a firefly lead. And that's the only time we've really met a firefly. And the other firefly ones we've seen have been ones that essentially were just dead fireflies. Then I'd be seeing notes of fireflies saying, yeah, we're going to meet here so-and-so so at a drop-off point, and they weren't there, and yeah, that's essentially how it is. And we keep finding these firefly pendants, which are essentially pendants that fireflies essentially have, kind of like cog, kind of like cog tags, like um, soldiers and stuff have. 
Right, so I it? assume that's what they are like. They just tell them who they are, which is quite cool. So that is a, one of the collectibles. I'm pretty sure the comic books or like comic strips are collectible as well. What else is there? Like, obviously all the notes and stuff you can pick up and read them. Just have a quick look. And the, all the draw nice. <laughs> Free short yamo yeah, nice. Perfect. Takes me back up to five. Sweet. Yeah, they're just it's just very, very suspicious. We just haven't heard anybody anywhere. That's the thing. Twenty five parts, sweet. And it's just very oh nice. Upgrade station, cool. It's just very I just don't like it, it's just it's too quiet, let's just say that, too quiet. We just haven't seen a single soul, a single human. We've just seen you know, zombies or I think they're runners or whatever they were, and bloaters and stuff, cookers as well. That's obviously the people who've just been infected, which is unfortunate. The people in the university and stuff, so it just doesn't look good, just to say that. We have not bumped into a single soul, a single actual you know, human or anything. If we do bump into humans, it'll probably just be hunters again, but they just never seem to leave us alone. Go clip capacity again with a 9mm. To be fair, I will give respect to the 9mm. It does more damage than I thought, especially last episode when I had to use it. I was like one shot, in, one shot headshot in a lot of the... Um, a lot of the hunters we were against, but I just don't know, I just haven't really used it much. As soon as I got the revolver at the start of the game, I just basically using that. It's just, I don't know, I just didn't really use the 9mm much. Man, that light is bright. Whew. But yeah, I could just kick the door down. Okay, that's where we gotta go, it seems like. Here for mankind over is here. it? Yeah. Oh, that's nice a draw here, sweet. Nice, more parts. Okay, I don't know. No, this isn't where we have to go, cool. I was just making sure, so we have to go where I just absolutely booted the head out of that door, let's just say that. What's going to be in this this cupboard here? Ten more parts. I probably could have... Mm, I don't know, to be fair. We haven't found a weapon tool upgrade for a while, actually, so hopefully we can, can we go in here. Aha, uh -huh, here's another shiv uh, door we can open with a shiv. A shiv door, I'll call it. Which I'm pretty sure that's what they call it anyway. There's a... Nice. What's that? Uh, acquired tool level four. And we got also picked up an upgrade. So all oh, nice, perfect. Molotov, up Molotov upgrade. Explosive radius is now two times wider. Sweet. So that means if there's a massive clump of enemies slash zombies, we should be able to hit a Molotov and it kills multiple of them, which will be ideal. Let's just say that. Let's head back to the upgrade table and see what we can now upgrade. So I'm pretty sure we may be able to either get arm piercing rounds two or. We may have to get the upgrade kit level 5 to maybe get the armor piercing round upgrade, basically number 2. Since so the armor piercing is super good. Let's have a look. Here we go. So, I can't really get anything on that. I can get a lot of that. Um, range, I need 5 for that. Flamethrower, I need 5 for that. I need 5. Okay, 5. I need for the armor piercing. That's cool, so I should hopefully find it soon, or if not, I've missed it. I don't think I've missed it. I think I've checked every single shift door I, I can, unless I've missed one when I was with Tommy and we're chasing after Ellie. I could have pot potentially missed one, but I don't think I have, to be fair. Let's so give it an upgrade. Yeah, reload speed, clip capacity, cool. My shotgun is absolutely decked out. It's going to be super strong, but I just it's a shame. I just don't have much shotgun ammo. I guess that's where the thing is, trying to limit you with all the good, good guns and at the end of the game and... It does to be it doesn't really make sense finding ammo in a let's just say in somebody's dorm in a university. Let's just say it's not really <laughs> the most ideal place to find it, but I guess we should find some more anyway. Okay, well Ali's just having a look at the supplies there. Is there anything good? Probably not. There's a note here. What does this say? Basically just say what does it say? I can't read it but Nothing yeah. useful. Doesn't really, yeah. Uh, medical, medical stuff, medical cool. Jungle. Medical supplies and all that good stuff. I don't get it. So we're still heavy, like yeah. Up you, yeah, I was thinking that as well. Right. Okay. Oh. Maybe not all of them. Yeah, Stay some close. noise. Let's, let's be safe. Uh, could be, it's most likely going to be zombies. Essentially, yeah, it does look like they've the fireflies have just disappeared and, you know, they've essentially packed up and just ran. Which I guess if they were getting overrun by a lot of zombies or just like hunters would come in to maybe try to get supplies it would make sense but it's just too quiet, it's been too quiet the whole time in this university, we haven't really bumped into anything except from zombies to be fair. Which is not ideal, let's just say that. But yeah, I'm just going to keep heading towards the room and hopefully we can find the laboratory soon. Which I'm pretty sure we should be getting close because we're in the main section of it. But we'll just have to have a look. Okay, can I open it please, Ellie? Uh, 
Oh shit, okay, Addy opens it. Cool. There are no bodies. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is good, to be fair. <laughs> there isn't any bodies, but then. That's good and not good at the same time. More parts, sweet. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because I can't really use five parts to upgrade anything yet. But I'm um, next time I go to an upgrade bench if I have enough, I'll probably try to get the armor piercing for the hunting rifle. The base is second upgrade for it, but there's a lot of bricks around. I've got three med kits. Oh, I haven't reloaded my pistol. I don't think I've realised it though <laughs> in the gameplay. But yeah, I don't have it reloaded. I just had a look at the ammo count. Nothing good natural there. More bottles, more bricks. Love them at, love them at enemies or nice scissors. Sweet. I'm pretty sure I only have two shivs unless I'm. I'm pretty sure I may have made another one. If not, I've got enough to upgrade or make another shiv anyway. To be fair, doesn't really seem to be anything good. This door will just take me to where I just came out. Okay, just slam the door. <laughs> Luckily, there's nothing nearby. But yeah, so we're still heading towards. Look at that very bright light. There's a lot of a few more. I don't like see anything in here. More parts, cool. Don't seem to be anything in this room here. Nah, nothing on top of the vending machine. Nope. Just head. Nah, nah. Anything? Can't open any of those. Too fair. Does not look like. Oh. Does not look like there's anything in this room. It says head on. Oh shit. Somebody just. Ah, somebody just knocked oh, it over. Right? Nah. No, yeah, true. That is true, hide. Jill. Clickers don't hide. That's probably most likely human enemy. Oh, this is this this is a lab here, isn't it? Nah, I don't know. Looks like a lab. Yeah, it does look like a lab. To be fair. What's this here? Fungal X-rays. Essentially, just showing how it yeah X-rays of fungal patients' brain. This is how they turn into the zonked clickers and all that fares. Yeah, that's definitely some scientific equipment. Yeah, this seems like a seems like where we were supposed to be, but it doesn't seem to be a single soul anywhere. Is there anything on that ball now? She's just looking, make sure I can't speak to her. Let's head in here now. Oh, Jesus! Monkey. <laughs> Love. That's what was knocking everything over. <laughs> yeah, that is true. At least they aren't clickers, but monkeys. Yeah, that is true. I just, I, well, as I said, throughout this whole episode, I've just had a very suspicious feeling or feeling that like there isn't going to be any like fireflies anywhere to be seen, and it just hasn't. We haven't seen a single soul, so um, looks like I'm right for the moment. There's a recorder here, lab recorder. Oh, packed, ready to go. Big question: What do we do with it? With the monkeys. Oh yeah, they're just saying that. Yeah, they did. Yeah, true, they did pack up. You could, we could see when we're looking at all the supplies. They're just all in crates. So essentially, the fireflies essentially just left this, left this, um, left this university, which I guess is kind of fair. But we just have to see, you know. Uh, hey, easy. Uh, yeah, I did. Oh no, the um, they were testing on the monkeys. So the monkeys are infected. So yeah, it's kind of good we didn't bump into um. Or didn't go too close to any of those zombies. No zombies, are monkeys. So yeah, so that's obviously how they were. The fireflies were testing the vaccines. What are they basically trying to sort out the zombie infection on the monkeys? Essentially, that's what they're trying to do. But there's nothing in that thing I can pick up. So it's cool because we saw a few monkeys before, and um, yeah, we just good we didn't approach them. I think they just run away anyway. To be fair, but I guess it's good we didn't get too close to the zom um the zombies now, <laughs> the monkeys, the infected monkeys. So let's head in here now. Let's see. Let's bash in. Let's see what's in this room. You're looking for the fireflies. They've all left. Yeah, no shit. Do you know where that is? I know the city. Is it far? 
It ain't close. I mean, on horseback. What? Fireflies? Get down! Oh. And there we go. There wasn't any firefly. There was a firefly person here, but he decided to take the easy way out and essentially said that they moved or they went somewhere else. And yeah, so. Rip, we didn't find any firefly. We did, but you know, I guess he left a record, which is good. But now I get attacked by some annoying hunters again. <laughs> oh my lord, this guy's wrecked me with a hatchet. But yeah, so. There we go, we didn't find. Sorry. We didn't find any um, nice shotgun ammo. Sweet, I picked that up. We didn't find any li alive fireflies, just to say that. But we're now getting attacked by a lot of hunters. Let's just try and get our way out, since we know where we got to go now. Try and get back to our horse, which hopefully the horse is still there. They don't reckon they would have done anything to the horse, but they don't know. They, somebody may just be hiding in the horse. So there's a few fishing here. I'm just going to use as much 9mm arrow, peek around the corner, mate. Don't. Is he dead? I don't know if he died. He may have just been hurt. Yeah, he's dead. Cool. Dodge those shots. Easy shot. Dead. So it is a one shot headshot. Ow, oh, I'm getting shot in the side. Oh my lord. Smart. Kill that guy. I'm pretty weak. Okay, I just try and get a better angle on him. Easy. Jump in here, see if they drop in the ammo. Doesn't seem like they have. Quick pop a med kit. Strategically, I don't want to die. Not full HP. I'm literally a little. I'm a few inches off getting max, but I'll make another. I don't have enough to make a medkit. That's cool. I've still got two medkits. Ten pill points I missed. Okay, that's good. <laughs> oh, nice revolver ammo. Sweet. Um, is it okay? I didn't open that drawer either. I got to go. That oh, more guys. Okay, this is not Back off. Back off. I always hit me with a hatchet. Get my shotgun out. What an Eddie. What an absolute beast. Just grab him. Executed him. Eddie is just, you know, getting very good at combat situations. She just, as I said, it's crazy how she's changed. You know, she just didn't want to get involved in anything. Or she didn't, you know. Now she's just a full blown badass. She's just attacking all these guys and taking them out by herself. To be, or by herself. I have no idea I'm here. I could have grabbed him. Stab him in the side. I should probably pick that hatchet up, actually. Yeah, I'll do that. It's got more um, more durability. Cool, sweet. Yeah. Reload my shotgun. Yeah, cool. So I've got five. Oh, was that? Something? I don't know if that's somebody behind me, or maybe it was just Ellie. I saw. Could have been somebody behind me, maybe. Let's keep, keep let's keep going down and go down. More hunters coming. Maybe not. Ooh. Ellie, let's go stab him back. Alright. There's another one there, just gonna run in. Hatchet him, easy. See these um, like hatches and machetes seem to be a one hit kill on. Okay, guys, chilling there, get my 9mm out. Don't I've started to use a lot of my 9mm. Nice, pretty shotgun ammo. I'm getting a lot of shotgun shots now, I've got 8 now, which is cool. I'm running out of 9mm, but I picked up a few revolver shots. More shotgun? They gave me all the shotgun now. I did say in this episode I didn't have any shotgun, so I guess they're rewarded. Oh. Not ideal. Let's fight him off. Fight him off. Fight him off. Go on, get off him, Ellie. Help me, help me. Oh, this is not. Oh, oh my lord. That is not ideal. That is gonna hurt. That is not good. Damn. This sucks, man. You certainly do not want to be in this situation, let's say that. But my lord. Joel could easily bleed out though, he's bleeding out of a lot. Oh, Daddy. Yeah, you're gonna get attacked. I'll yeah, probably have to shoot him as well. Let's go. Dunk. Nice. Team up makes a dream up, but this is not ideal. He's gonna we need to get him out of this quickly. But obviously as soon as you get pull him out, he's gonna like heavily bleed from his wound. Which is not ideal. This is gonna hurt. Get ready, mate, get ready. One, two, three. Down. Yeah, look at it, look at that wound, he's bleeding. I should really quick to get to the horse as well. Let's go. He's gonna barely be able to walk soon, he's gonna pass out with blood loss. So yeah, then we just hopefully we can get there and then we can get on the horse and Ellie can ride off, but it's gonna be very awkward or very hard for us to get there, especially if any enemies come through. He just ain't gonna be able to, you know. <laughs> Let's just say he is always like that. 
Yeah, he just says he's alright. You can tell he's not alright, but he's just obviously not trying to worry Ali, even though Ali can see that he he is injured. But, oh well. He is like starting to struggle, which anybody would struggle solely because it's a massive gash. Bleeding out, look at his hands. He's just. I'm gonna, yeah, so he's gonna, she's gonna flank him. Cool. Just got a bait. <laughs> Sally's gonna flank and he's gonna try to kill us. We've killed a lot of their friends, bandits. Come on. Don't peek, Eddie, we'll get him in a minute. Just gonna bait him out. Nice. Save Daddy. Let's go. Eddie's alright, she doesn't seem to be injured, but Joel is not having the best time right now, let's just say that. Hopefully we're close to the horse. I don't know if we're too close to it, but we should hopefully be, you know, closer. Let's go. I'm okay. Yeah, that is true. Not okay. <laughs> if we don't get bandages or anything, or like some like medicine, John will probably bleed out or die. To be fair, but let's just hope we can get towards the horse and you know, if the horse is even there. But it should hopefully be there if we left it. But let's see. Um, hunters like they took it or whatever. He's not too good. We're getting close. We're, I'm pretty sure we're close to where we came from. Yeah. I'll just take him, mate. Yes. <laughs> I'll just take. I'll just lean on her. But obviously, Joe's a stubborn old bugger. Let's just say that he just wants to do it. Let's carry on going. The exit is right there. I'm pretty sure to right. Yeah. That's the door we need to get to. Just wait. Let's go. I don't know if Joel's gonna make it. Oh no. He's literally about to pass out all his enemies above behind you. What? Ellie. Ellie. Yep, above. There's, Ellie. There's enemies. Yeah, so Ellie's been an absolute bad ass again with the gun. Oh, she ran out of ammo. Oh, 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 she got whacked by that pipe as well. That must have hurt. But yeah. Joel is not looking too good, let's just say that. Come on, Joel, stand up, mate. You got it, you got it. We're literally right, this is like the home stretch. I'm pretty sure when we get to that door, open that door, the horse will be there. So we should hopefully be able to go and ride away. But we'll be a bit, a bit, you know, screwed if there wasn't more. If there's more, what's it called, um, hunters outside or bandits outside, that would not be ideal. But we got to get to the door. But yeah. He's just not good. He's come on, man. Joe has one tough mother trap. Just say that. Oh. 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 Oh, shit. Slips down the staircase. Sorry. Let's go. Just get to the horse, mate. Get the horse. Yeah, get the horse. That'd probably be the better idea. Let's just say that. <coughs> Cordio, stand up, Joe. Can you get on? Get on the horse, dude. Well, I don't know how he's gonna ride it with that injury. But let's go, I guess. Like, we got to the horse successfully, which I guess is something. But yeah, see so yeah, we're off on our merry way. Let's go. I think we're safe. Joel. Joel. Shit. Joel. This won't last very long. You'll just startle it. 
this is going to be the end of my 14th episode of my Last of Us playthrough, and essentially in that cutscene, as you can see, we um, Jar was extremely injured in that part, and now we get to play as Ellie, which I'm pretty sure we're hunting to basically feed Joel and Ellie, and hopefully we can find some supplies like, um, like um, antibiotics and stuff for Joel. But we'll just have to see, you know, what what we know what we do, and in the next episode we're going to be hunting down the deer we just saw. So yeah, that was a pretty decent episode. That is the end of my 14th episode of the Last of Us Remastered playthrough.